Hi hey everybody, this is Jeff from the CSU Global Library. We're going to talk today about how to do some research in a library database, and specifically I'm talking about research for a healthcare management class. So, but this could be used for anything. So I'm looking at HCM 570, Healthcare Management. I'm looking at Module 4, Critical Thinking. And I'm looking at option one here, electronic health records case study. Describe how, do you, how you would approach the implementation of an electronic health record, EHR. Create a list of tasks that need to be done. Project, okay. So you're going to do a research project where you're going to uh, write a paper on how you would implement a new electronic health record system. And uh, the guidelines for this class are that they would like you to access some research articles to back up what you learn or what you're going to write about. So let's start off <clears throat> at the library website. And uh, you should have a link to this in your class. So this is the CSU Global Library website. Right now our quick search box is having some problems so I would avoid that for this type of research right now. I would actually avoid this. I would go directly into the databases link here and in this list I would choose Academic Search Premier to start off my research. And when this comes up, I'm going Academic Search Premier is a great kind of cross-subject database, but I'm going to add some other databases to it as well. Choose Databases. So I go kind of quickly here, let me back up. So I clicked Choose Databases because I'm going to add more than one database to this. That's a good one, but I'm also going to add Business Source Complete because this might cross over into the business world. I'm also going to add Health Policy Reference Center. That's probably all I'm going to need for this research. Then I click OK. Now in this first box here, I'm going to type in the terms we're looking for. Now I'm going to put these in quotation marks. Electronic health record. Now I put these in quotation marks because I want this exact phrase. If I don't do this, it will search for this, but it's also going to search for electronic and health and record throughout the whole article and it might not be as focused. So the first thing I would do to make this more effective, I would type that in. If I have a phrase, I would put this in quotation marks. It doesn't do anything with single words, but if you have a phrase like this, electronic health record, it's, it's going to help bring more specific results. Then I'm going to search. Okay, we have 8,492. Now there's another trick we could do here because it, it might be electronic health records, it might be electronic health recording. I'm going to add an asterisk to the end of record. At the end of record I'm going to put shift 8, asterisk. On the keyboard that's shift 8. That little asterisk some of you might call this a star. It certainly looks like a star right there. And this is going to broaden the research out a little bit. So we have 8,492 articles. Let me search now with that asterisk added. With the asterisk added, we have 12,411 articles. So that, that broadened it out to about, that gave us about 4,000 more articles, which is pretty significant. So the other thing I'm going to do is type in OR EHR because also it's referred to as EHR and probably a lot of articles in the healthcare industry are just going to refer to it as EHR. So I've got electronic health record with an asterisk at the end in quotation marks or EHR because it might refer to it as that. Pay attention to this. Now I know we're getting a lot of articles here but in just a minute I'm going to show you how to reduce this but I like to broaden it as far as we can go before I bring it down. Okay, or EHR, let's do a search. We have 12,411 when we add that or we have 12,908. So that gave us about 500 more articles. So there's there was a lot that was out there still. So these are just little tricks to get this database to give you what you want. Now maybe at this point we're looking at uh, articles on implementing health uh, electronic health records. So let me type in implement. Now the problem here it might be implement, it might be implements, it might be implementation, it might be implementing. I want all versions of that word. So the spelling would change right there at implement. Because if we had implementation, it would be that, right? Then A would come next. If we had implementing, 
that would come next. If we had implements, that would come next. So, but they all have implement in common. So I'm going to type in the first part of that word, implement, and then put a star, an asterisk, shift 8 to broaden that out. So we still have this. The nice thing about this database is we can kind of combine searches. We're going to leave this alone, electronic health record or EHR. Now we're going to add some version of the word implement has to be in there as well. We do a search. So now we should see less than 12,908. That took us down to 2,460. Now we're starting to get kind of specific here. Now what we probably would want to do at this point, I'm going to keep getting more specific. Now the most specific thing to do is to make this, I want these in the titles of the articles, not just in there somewhere. So you notice this, that's not in the title of this one. It's in there somewhere, but it has electronic in the title, but I want this, I want this phrase to be in the title. So under select a field, I'm going to click there and then click TI title. Now I'm telling it I only want you to bring the articles back from this list that have electronic health record or EHR in the titles of the articles. I click search. Now we're down to 574, which is great. Okay, now what about this? I, I mean we still have so many here. I only need probably, I don't know, four or five articles for my research project. What about some version of the word implement? Let's put that also in the title. Now there's other options. We could also do subject, author, all these things, but I like if, <clears throat> if I've got over 500 articles and I only need four or five articles and I really want the articles to be focused on what I'm talking about, I go for title. So I want some version of the word implement to be in the title as well as this being in the title. Do a search. Now we're down to 138. Now see how focused these articles are looking? Tips and lessons learned for a successful clinical EHR implementation. That's beautiful. What a wonderful article. And if I wouldn't have put the or EHR in the title, it would not have found this because electronic health record is not in the title. But people who work in this industry, here's this journal, Health Management Technology, a lot of them are just going to refer to it as EHR. So that or had a big effect here. Okay, now <clears throat> we have 138, They're both in the title, it looks great. This is a graduate level class we're in, so most probably your instructors are really going to want to see you using peer reviewed articles, articles from academic and professional level journals, as opposed to popular magazines like Time Magazine or something like that. So what we could do with this database. I'm going to scroll down here. Keep your eyes over here on the left. I'm going to scroll down. Now what we could do is click scholarly peer reviewed journals right here and this will edit out anything from this search that doesn't come from a higher level academic or professional journal which is probably what your instructors want to see. So we have 138 articles over here. I'm going to click this and this is going to weed down a little bit more. Now we have 101. So it keeps it keeps getting uh, keeps getting smaller. Now some other and again this is, looks great implementation of a patient facing genomic test report and electronic health record. Okay, everything's looking good. Now look at this implementation of the electronic health record implementing. Okay, use of an EHR. So a we because I put implement with the asterisk we've got implementation, but I would have missed out on this article because it's not the same word as implementation. Similar, but that asterisk forced it to find any version of implement. Also there we see EHR again where we see electronic health record there. So and if you look through these, all of these look like they're really, really focused on what we're talking about, which is great. All of them are peer reviewed. Now what we might want to do, these go all the way back to 2004 which that's, that's pretty current, but maybe we want to be even more current than that. So I could take this date slider. I'm going to pull this this way. What if we went from 2013 to 2018? The latest they have in here that's, that's for the very specific uh, limits I set on R to 2018. So let's go 2013 to 2018. It is searching right up to this day, but this was all. So now we're down to 39. And they're going to be great articles, all within a five-year span there. And they're all going to have those terms in the titles. And um, <clears throat> 
So all of these should work. And remember, I think when we started off, we had, I don't remember how many there were when we started off, 200,000 articles or something crazy like that. Now we're down to 39. So let's take a look here. Now let's say, for example, you wanted to send this list to your instructor or something to say, is this, am I doing this right? Do these articles look right? You could click here on the share button and you could click this link here. You could copy that link and put that in an email, copy and paste that into an email to your instructor or another student or your group or whoever you're working with. And you could send them this search and when they clicked on the results, it would open up directly into these 39 articles. Let's do some other things here. Let's open up this, uh, this article here. So this is telling us all about the article. Here are all the, uh, the authors. Here's the title of the article. Here's where it was published. Here's when it was published. Here are the subjects down here. Here's a nice abstract of the article. And if we scroll all the way down, the thing that's, that's kind of interesting, you can even see the affiliations of the authors. You can see where these authors work. You can kind of look at their credentials. Now you might be asking, well, that's great, but where's the article? I'm just seeing an abstract here and I want to read the full article. If you click right here, PDF full text, it will download a full version of this article. And sometimes these articles are kind of large and PDF takes some memory. So it took a little while to open up, but there it is right there. Uh, you could print off the article right there. You could download it right there. You could email the article somewhere. You could put it into a folder to look at it later, and this would go into an internal folder within this database. And so there's, there's the full article. Let's go back to the detailed record. And I'll make other videos that go more into the specifics of this, these types of things. But what we could also do, this is kind of nice, there's a site feature right here. We could click site. And if we scroll down, there's an APA citation right there and you could highlight this and copy it and paste it into a Word document. And there would be a few errors in the citation, but uh, it would be pretty good. Let me just do a quick illustration of what this would be like here. So I'm going to do a new document here. And let's say we're doing our references page. And I'm going to change that. We're going to center that. Hit return here. Take the centering off. Now I'm going to paste that in and it's going to look a little weird when I paste it in. Notice, yeah, it looks a little weird. The first thing I would do is click on this little clipboard and I would click this blue arrow to remove any weird formatting. Okay, so again, once I clicked that in, I went down here and I clicked that blue arrow to remove any strange formatting that came in from the, uh, from the database. Okay, this looks pretty good. What I would want to do, obviously, it has to have a, a hanging indent. These other lines have to be indented over. And that can be kind of hard to do in Word because when you try to do that, it, it just, it, 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 you'd have to do that with every line and sometimes the whole thing indents over. What I'm going to do is, hi, is highlight all that. Go to paragraph. Now this is, I start going really quickly here. Let me slow down. I highlighted all this. I went next to paragraph, this little magic button in paragraph. What I'm going to do under indentation special, I'm going to add a hanging indent. And if it's not double spaced, set it to double spaced right there. So right there I set hanging indent. Now it's set to a hanging indent. Now let's just check it over for any errors. It looks pretty good. Okay, and there's our citation. So that's kind of a neat thing that you can do with this database. Let's go back here. Um, so that's that's a good a good introduction to this. Uh, so this would be a good basic database search and that's probably enough for this video. I'll have other videos where we go into more specifics, but this is probably enough to at least get you started on this research project. As always, uh, get in touch with me, ask me any questions, and I'll help you in any way that I can. Thanks a lot for watching, as always.